Hey guys, welcome to a new video of quantity survey series. In this particular video, we will try to learn about how to calculate the quantity of brickwork in the foundation up to the plinth level. So before we start this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the notification every time when I publish a new video. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. Okay, so to start this video, first here in the serial number type 3, then in the description type brickwork and foundation and plinth. And if you look at the cross section, the foundation is divided into 3 steps, and each step have different width. So we have to calculate the quantity of brickwork for each step separately. Right, okay, so just below brickwork and foundation and plinth type step 1. And in number type 1, next we have to find out the length of the first step. So for that we will apply the same formula as we applied for calculating the total length of the excavation in the remarks column. As the total length of the center line is 146.5 feet, so the formula will be like total length of the center line minus number of joints into half of the width of the footing. So is the total length of the center line is 146.5 feet. So here type 146.5. Then minus and then number of joints which is 6 into width of the step 1 which is 1.5 divided by 2. And after using the calculator, the total length of the step 1 is 142 feet. So in the length column in front of step 1, type 142 feet. Then according to the cross section, the width of the step 1 is 1 feet 6 inches which is equal to 1.5 feet. And the height of step 1 is 6 inches which is equal to 0.5 feet. So here in the excel sheet, I will type in the width column 1.5 and in the height column I will type 0.5. Now to find out its total quantity, either I will multiply all these terms or I will just simply drag this down and we will get the total quantity of brickwork in step 1 which is equal to 106.5 CFT. Similarly, we will calculate the quantity of brickwork in step 2. So here in the description type step 2, next in number type 1. Then we will find out the length for step 2 in the remarks column. So here type total length of the center line which is 146.5. Then as per the cross section the width of step 2 is 1 feet 1.5 inches which is equal to 1.125 feet. So here in the excel type minus the number of joints which is equal to 6 into width of step 2 which is equal to 1.125 feet divided by 2 and after using the calculator it is equal to 143.125 feet so the total length of step 2 is 143.125 feet so here in the length column type 143.125 then width of step 2 is 1 feet 1.5 inches which is equal to 1.125 feet so here type 1.125 Then height of step 2 is 6 inches which is equal to 0.5 feet So here type 0.5 And after that I will just drag this down to get the total quantity of brickwork in step 2 So as you can see the total quantity of brickwork in step 2 is 80.5078 and its unit will be CFT in the same manner we will calculate the quantity of brickwork in step 3 as well. So here in the description type step 3, then in numbers type 1 and after that go to the remarks column. Here we will calculate the total length of the step 3. So for that first type total length of the center line which is 146.5 feet. Then type minus and then number of joints which is 6 into width of step 3 which is 9 inches because thickness of step 3 is same as thickness of wall as per the cross section. So here type 0.75 which is equal to 9 inches and divided it by 2 and after using the calculator we will get the length of step 3 which is equal to 144.25 feet. 
so the length of step 3 is 144.25 feet so here type 144.25 then width of the step 3 is 9 inches so here type 0.75 and the height of step 3 up to the plinth level is 1 feet 6 inches which is equal to 1.5 feet as per the cross section so here type 1.5 and after that I will just simply drag this down to get the quantity of brickwork in step 3. So as you can see the total quantity of brickwork in step 3 is 162.2812 and the unit will be CFT. Now to get the total quantity of brickwork used in the foundation or substructure I will type here total. Then I will add the quantities of each step of brickwork in foundation. So the total quantity of brickwork in foundation is 349.289 CFT. So this is how you can calculate the quantity of brickwork in foundation up to the plinth level using the center line method. So here I will end this video. Now if you want to learn ETH 2016 software from the beginning, you have to go to my channel engineering network and there you will get the total course of ETH 2016 software from the beginning free from any cost. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it then click on the like button and if you don't then press the dislike button. Share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified on time when I publish a new video. See you in the next video.